Today we are case hardening a set of rollers for a Rumley 1630 and a roller and an exhaust roller for a little Fairbanks hit and miss engine. We're just case hardening. We'll probably do three goes and then we'll eventually quench it in water. It's not the best way to case harden, but it does work. Today we're using, because you can't get caseinite anymore, we're using a quick hard compound. So what we do is we heat it up, as you can see, to, to just under 1600 degrees. We'll place in the compound and sprinkle on top of it. Try to submerge as much as you can to get as much stuff on top of it as you can. It's still a nice, nice dull red. I can still see it, so I'll let it for another couple of seconds and I'll throw it back in the furnace. Give it a shake off and back and it goes. And we'll repeat the process, like I said, probably do three cracks and then we'll heat it up again to 1600 and dump it in water. It would probably go a couple of thou thick and for the application that we're using these on that don't run every day, it'll probably outlast me. I forgot to mention in the other one, the material we're using is 8620. So that way it is not a, it doesn't have enough carbon to harden properly. So that's why we're doing a case hardening because we just want the outside layer to be hard. We don't really care about much else on it. We'll have the outside layer hard and just the inside layer where it goes on to the shaft. And that is it. And I said we're, we'll realistically probably get just a little bit outside layer to maybe 55 Rockwell. And like I said, for this application for antique equipment that's going to run very sporadically, it'll outlast me. And in it goes again. We'll let it soak again to get up to temperature. Then we'll probably hit it another two more times. Yeah. Okay, we've done three repeated uh, heat cycles back into the hardening compound. Now we're getting ready to quench it. We've got it back up to just under 1600 degrees. Have nice, cool, clean water to quench it in. And we'll uh, see what happens. Try to do a figure eight pattern, up and down, up and down, up and down. Don't break the surface. You can see it knocking some of the scale in the old uh, remnants of the hardening compound off. We'll let that sit in there for a minute. And it's cool to the touch. We'll get this cleaned up. We'll try just uh, a file test to see how hard it skates across the top. Because unfortunately we can't really do a hardness test on it because the with this type of hardening compound it only goes maybe a thou thick. So a hardness test will be useless on this. We'll get her cleaned up and then we'll show the results. <laughs> okay. We just gave it just a quick buff on the wire wheel to take the scale off. I've just given it a quick sand here just on our uh, just on our flatness here just to take the mill scale off a little bit. We'll throw in the hardness tester here just for shits and giggles to see what it's actually like. And we'll see. So we'll go up to where our zero is supposed to be. Pull her back. And this is on, of course, the Rockwell C scale. This was just regular 8620. So it's gonna come out eh, around the 50 mark, maybe a little under. Wait till the handle stops. Okay. So it came out about 52. For this application is more than adequate. The original, we did check, the original was case hardened and it was right around the 50 mark. So we basically replicated the original. Like I said, for what it is, we probably could have got away with even a 4140 HTSR for the amount it's gonna run, but we thought we'd try to actually make one and case harden it. So that kind of shows you we'll do finish the other four rollers up and that'll be it for today. Okay, we got the four rollers for the Rumley done, the one roller for the little Eclipse hidden miss engine done. 
came out fairly, fairly happy. We hardness tested every one. They're all right around 50 to 52, which is to be expected. The, uh, the Rumleys were worn out very badly. The tractor had done a lot of work. It was off a, a 1919 Rumley 1630, and the little Eclipse would be probably late teens, and it had done a fair amount of water pumping as well. For the amount they're gonna run, it will do, it will outlive me for sure anyways. But uh, the originals were probably just mild steel case hardened. They referred to it in the parts books as open hearth steel case hardened. So what the steel actually was, tough to say. But this steel was 8620 and we case hardened it. That's it for now. Okay, this was our first go at case hardening like this. You can see there is a little bit of staining. I can't feel it with my fingernails, but I can see it. Next time, since we have the, the little electric furnace, I think I'm going to try to actually do them in a canister and seal them and seal that works and actually let them soak for a certain amount of time, whatever the book says for our, our required thickness. But for a first try, I'm very happy with it. Okay, this is the reason why we did it on the little Fairbanks in the first place. You can see it was broken in half. It had an old kind of half ass fix to hold it together. And rather than it coming apart when we were running it, that's why we decided to make a new one. Start to finish the five rollers took us about, I turned the furnace on about 10. It is a slower furnace, it's only 110 volts. We got up to heat just after one o'clock and we were done by three o'clock. So all said and done and from start to finish was about a five hour job to do all five.